Okay, we're going to show you how to do the paper piecing for your uh, punch needle cactus. And this is used, this technique is used on any paper piecing. So here you'll see your full size pattern, and then right here, and then you're going to see your different colors. We're going to, in this particular piece, it's going to finish looking similar to this one. The one we're doing, it only has two points. But we have the light, which are the pink and the black. So we're calling this our light and the black our dark. So the first thing you want to do, and the other things, I'm sorry, you're going to need is what we like to use is add a quarter plus ruler. You don't have to have that, but it's very nice and useful and helpful. We have a little rotary cutter and a little iron so that we can iron right here at our table and a cutting mat, which helps. So I'm going to move that away and we're going to take our pattern first and we're going to go in the order that it's numbered on the pattern. And I'm going to take this little ruler and it has a sharp edge here and on the other side it has a lip that you can line up with your seam so that you can get a quarter inch when you trim it. So I'm going to put this little sharp edge right here between the light and the dark or between one and two, and I'm just going to fold it towards me. And I'll set that right there, and I'm going to take my first color, which is number one, the lightest one. So you're going to put the, num the light color first, facing right side up, and a piece of the dark color, number two, on top, putting right sides together, just like that. Then we're going to take the folded piece of paper where we folded it between one and two and we're going to sit it right down there in the middle leaving just a, about a quarter of an inch. That's what we're trying to do there. Now you can pin that if you like, which is helpful. You can just pin it down here to keep the quarter of an inch space. And now we're going to take that to our sewing machine and we're going to stitch past or before the outside line and after the outside line. We're going to be using on the machine I'm using a number two. We want a, a tight stitch so that when we rip our paper it'll rip off of there easily. It perforates it. So I'm going to take it to my machine now and sew right along this edge. On my sewing machine I'm going to place this right under here. On my particular sewing machine, the foot right here, I just guide this the inside edge right along the line and that hits the needle right on that line. You'll have to see how that works on your machine where you because you're wanting your needle just to go in the center of that line. I'm going to start off the paper on the fabric here first. Remember I have a tighter number two stitch or smaller and I'm going to just guide my foot along that line and you can see my needle sitting right on the paper and I'm going to go off the edge and then trim it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to unpin that and I'm going to take it to my iron and I'm going to fold this one back and press it. Okay, We'll just finger press it there for now. And you could pin this if you're feeling, you know, if you're new to paper piecing, you can pin that so it holds it back. And now I will take my ruler again and I'm going to put it right on the edge between two and three and I'm going to fold it back. But you see because I stitched off it's up there so just pull your fabric back front loose from the stitching like so. And now I will take my ruler and I'll place it right on this edge and I will trim this excess fabric off. Now we've folded the paper back like so. So we're going to take this ruler that has one side has a lip on it. Right here. A little groove. And I'm going to take that groove and I'm going to butt it right to the fold of my paper. And this, when I trim it, I'm going to take my rotary cutter and trim that. It makes an exact little quarter inch seamed allowance there. And now I'm going to take another piece of pink, putting it right side to the right side of the black, 
lining it up right here so it's centered or fairly close you want to keep it pretty centered and then I'm going to fold my paper back and I'm going to go back and stitch again right along that line. Now I've stitched it along the between two and three I'm going to take it here and press it back. This is what I do on each seam. Okay, I press that back. See, it's created the point. Now we're going to turn it with the paper and we're going to fold back again now between three and four. I'm going to rip that loose. Remember how it went past. We're going to rip that loose there. We're going to take the ruler with the groove side down and trim again our quarter inch seam allowance. Now I will take the black piece of fabric and I'll center it with the right side facing up so that right sides are always touching right sides. I'm going to center it there and now I'm going to stitch between three and four. Okay, so now you can see I've stitched between three and four using my tight stitch length and I'm going to take it here and press the black back. Don't iron it like this because that will stretch it. Just press up and down. Now you're going to take your ruler again going to put it with the sharp edge down and you could do it without the ruler by folding it by hand as well if you don't have the ruler. Fold your paper back, put the groove side facing down and trim back your excess fabric. Now we're ready to put the right side of our pink fabric right side up centering the black and the pink. Now I will go back and I will stitch between four and five. Remember we always stitch off the paper. So I'm going to take the paper now after I've stitched between four and five and I'm going to press my pink. And now I'm ready to trim it. And you should you see there's there's excess fabric around the perimeter. So now you can take this ruler if you want, or usually I just use my a regular little six inch, six and a half inch ruler, and I'm going to trim it right along the outside lines. Don't take off any more than right around the outside of the the block. See how it lined up right with that line? and I'm going to trim the whole block all the way around. And the paper we used here is newsprint. So it will either be in your pattern if you purchased it from us or if you have got a download pattern then you can purchase this newsprint paper um, like on Amazon and different places, quilt shops, and you can run that through your regular printer and that files will be in your download pattern. And now when you're done you've created this little block with your points. So now we're going to take and remove the paper. So I'll fold it back and just press it down. You can run your fingernail along there and then just pull away the paper. You can also use a, if you're having trouble, that's why the newsprint makes it easier. You can use a little tool if you have one to run along the edge. You could use a seam ripper, but you want to be very careful not to rip your fabric. This one I like because I can actually put the little point in there and take out. Well, 
I usually run to the back side, but. And also one thing to keep in mind when you're paper piecing is don't pull hard on the edges because those aren't straight of grain anymore. You've cut them at all these different um, biases, so it will stretch. So don't be too abusive on that edge. Be, be gentle. There you go. Now you're ready to put that in your quilt.